Hello. Yeah. What do you mean it's not a Flintstones doll review? Ugh, I'm never working with this amateur ever again. So, a little bit hyper after that cereal, very sugary. So I'm a bit late to the cave club party, but I was waiting for this bad boy to be in stock because I had the other stuff and I thought I'd just wait for that one. Newish line, uh, so I've got the dolls, two standard dolls to review, these mystery dino eggs, get little pets, and then the big dinosaur with a doll. So I'll get these opened up and let's see how they are. So two standard dolls to begin with. On the back, Little bit boring. It just has a picture of each doll. No description, no character traits, just says, you know, meet the, what does it say? Meet Cave, Cave Club, a truly unruly group of prehistoric first friends, and then nothing else. So no character traits, anything like that. On the front, bit of cool effect. You could probably use that actually for a diorama. I always say about dioramas and I never make one. So I'll get these opened up and have a look. So I'll start with the boy doll first. So this is Slate, and he comes with a little cool kind of chicken dinosaur. Maybe that's kind of the whole, what came first, chicken or the egg, called Taggy, so he's quite cute. So his hair, a little bit of a mess, so I might have to play with that in a little bit. I do like the fact that it's not, um, what's that material again? It's gone up my head, but the fuzzy felt. So I like that it's actually painted. I do, I will change that hair a bit. So he's clearly an artist, which is cool. So he's got a little paint, little slate thing on, a little paintbrush, which can be removed. It's just on the elastic at the moment. Little bag, yes. And it's got like a cool little, that's good. Cool little detail in there, little paint things. Very good detail. Articulation wise, very reminiscent of Monster High. So head, shoulder, elbow, wrist. Has he got any waist? No, and then the hip, knee, no foot. Really cool outfit. I like the fact there's actual plastic bits on here rather than just some printed stuff. Two layers, a two layer top actually. So he's got little shorts and then a top as well. Really like him, cool face. I like the fact he's actually got some paint on his face as well. Cause every artist knows you need to make a mess before you make a masterpiece. It comes with a little brush, which can, I don't know if that's really gonna fully, I might have to get some hot water on that just to make it. And then it kind of, I think that it's kind of like those combs that kind of slot in but I think it is just used as a comb. So he's really cool, I like him a lot. I always like the fact that they bring a doll, I mean a boy doll out first, in the first wave, I mean. Cool, so next one, Teller. The hair, I don't think the hair's the best quality, like it could be a lot softer. Teller and her little pipe, is that a, kind of like a saber tooth? I'm not sure actually, kind of like a saber tooth, maybe a little wolf. So that's her little pet, Hunch. She comes with a little telescope, which is cool. I don't know if you can actually, kind of. And then the same brush as Slate's had. So obviously same articulation. Oh, she's still got a band on there. Um, she's got like little jewels and things on her belt. Nice little purple diamondy headpiece. Cool face, she's got kind of like loads of moons and stars and stuff. I did read up on her. She's actually a fortune teller and she can predict the future has the same articulation as slates and then some nice plastic bits. I do like the little fluffy, fluffy little skirt bit as well. So she's really cool. Really like both of those. Very Monster High-ish because we never got like a prehistoric character in Monster High. So that's good that we've got these. Uh, I will look at the little minis next. So these mystery mini type things. First of all, I love the fact that you can actually reuse this packaging because a lot of the time it's either a cardboard box or something plasticky that you'd throw away. So each one has a little pet inside. So just remove the, I think one bit, one bit's a pet and then one bit's like sand or slime or something. That slime craze just won't go away. So the first one is a cool little, I don't know what the name for that is. I used to be so word up on dinosaurs when I was at school, when I was like five or so. Looks a little bit like Lapras from Pokemon. Right, I'll look in the other bit. I probably won't open all this stuff. 
So that's definitely slime. I'm not gonna open that just because it's just messy and yeah, but there's definitely slime in that, you can feel. I'm not really into the slime craze. So the other bit, so it comes with little bits. Oh, they're like, oh, they're, <laughs> that's quite cute. They're little armbands. That's really sweet. Oh, another bag. There's quite a few bag things actually in this. So, one more bit to open. Oh, that's, okay, that's cute. So it's like a little, it's got a little hair, but oh, look, he's got a little hair. She, he, whatever. Anyone can rock pink hair, can't they? That is real, I do really like that, that's adorable. So just open the little collectors, guys. So I just want to see who it is. Do they have names? I don't think they have names. No, there's no names. No names on this. But it just shows you all the other ones you can get. Oh my God, there's a little pebble. There's a little rock pet. That's adorable. I must get that one. Right, next one. Oops. Put him back in his home. Oops. Oh, so a little baby T-Rex. What's really good is that they're poseable. So head, arms, and legs. Tail, not, not the tail, but the head, arms, and legs are poseable. That's really cool. Slime again. Yeah. Might give that to my niece or nephew, I don't know. Just not really a slime person. I had a bit of, bit of it at school when I was a kid, but I kind of, I don't know, you sort of just get over it, I think. That's cool, there's a bit of paint defects on it, but that's just like a little, like a little rag doll type thing for all the little baby T-Rex, that's cute. Last bag. There isn't a rip thing on these. I think this will be a hair piece again, right. So you put the little hair piece in. Probably have to comb that out a bit so just it falls a bit better because it kind of doesn't really look right at the moment. But that is cute. So, fingers crossed on the last one, I won't get a double. I really do want that little rock. So cute. Don't think it is though. Ah, oh, little saber-toothed tiger. And that is poseable as well. So head, all the legs, and even the tail. I'm glad I haven't got any swaps, but I do really want that little rock one. What's in here? Oh, oops. <laughs> I thought that was an accessory type thing. So this one, you actually get a bit of snow. Snow? It's not snow. I'm thinking of Christmas already. So it's kind of like glittery sand. Oh, I thought it was gonna smell like Play-Doh. Love the smell of Play-Doh, it doesn't. So you actually get a bit of sand in this one rather than slime. So I'm all for the sand, that's kind of cool, but not a slime person. Next little bag. Oh, a little. <laughs> A little woolen ball, that's quite cute. A little saber tooth to play with. And then last one. The little hair piece. It's just got purple. So yeah, you'd probably have to take the little elastic band out and just comb those out a bit. But yeah, I'm pleased with those. Super cute and I think they'll go well with the dolls as well. But in a bit of a conundrum now because I'm gonna have to get the others because I need that little pebble thing because it's just adorable so the best pit i've saved it till last is the dinosaur and lady driver i don't know why i called it that Rockel and tyrosaurus which is probably the best name for a dinosaur ever so just show you a bit of the animated back and then i'll get it opened up so that looks really cool okay so start with raquel raquel first the hair, oh, the hair on these is a bit cheapish. That's the only strong criticism I have. So same articulation as Tella. Cool little outfit, I do like her green bits. Um, I like her face, it's a bit different as well, like the poofy bit. Little accessories, so the comb is actually different from the ones on the standard release, just a pink comb, it actually says Cave Club on it. A alternate little headpiece, which is kind of cool. And then I loving these little food bits, so you get a giant berry and a turkey, well, 
turkey chicken leg, might be a small dinosaur leg, and then a just a little juice carton for her as well. But then onto the best part is the big dinosaur Tyrosaurus, which again is one of the best names for a dinosaur I've ever heard. So her cool feature is you just press the button on the back and the mouth opens. So that's really cool. I, do, I love the fact that they've given her a little bit of hair. Although I would like a big straight piece and then maybe like a rock and a little manicure and stuff. Some good little articulation. So obviously on the mouth open and closes. Uh, on the legs, oh, a click and that's better actually because it means it's more durable. Um, ankles, is there a bit on the tail? No, you don't really need that. And then what I really like is that you can put two dolls on this. Because normally when you get like a rider type toy like this, I've seen it in other lines before, it can only fit one doll, but it can fit two. So I'll just put that on. Seems quite easy to clip in as well. Really easy, actually. That's really good. Thought I'd have to pause the video or something to put them in. And then put her on the back. Have her holding on to slate, just so she doesn't fall off. But no, that's really cool. Really like that, and I'm glad I waited. Very impressed. Love Tyrosaurus. So, overall thoughts. I think this is a really fun line. It's not super collector level, but I think adults can enjoy this as well. I've seen a lot of people on Instagram and stuff, adult collectors, with this line. My top pick, and it would be a good Christmas present, say if I was a kid I'd want this, the Tyrosaurus on Raquel pack, because I think it's good that you actually get a doll included, and then if you wanted another doll to put on, you can buy that. The single dolls, they're good as well. Uh, these would make really good stocking fillers, and I'm definitely going to get more because I want that baby rock pet thing. Bad point, just the hair. I just think the hair is really, it's kind of cheap, but then... Most kids don't really, they're not that bothered about that. But no, really cool line. I'll probably get a couple of the others. There's a set that has um, a baby in it. And I think there's another set that comes with like a little barbecue and stuff. So remember to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. See ya.